Today we are going to be demonstrating how to use the nasal nasal or nasal nasal wash. So in this kit you get a bottle which is a plastic bottle and you get these uh, powder sachets which are usually sodium fluoride sodium bicarbonate mixtures. So uh, what we we usually recommend this post nasal surgery especially post an endoscopic nasal surgery which uh, requires uh, further cleaning even after the surgery. So after the surgery, we you uh, prescribe this uh, nasal wash or nasal wash kit. So in that, what we do is, uh, as you can see in this bottle, there is a line. So the water has to be filled up to this mark, and along with that, one sachet or depending on your prescription based on uh, what is required for you, you need to put one sachet into the bottle and you have to mix it. So we have already done this, and now for demonstration, we have our nurse. She is going to be demonstrating on how to use it properly. So I will just describe the process before she does it. So basically what you need to do is just put the, uh, there is an opening in the top of the cap. Uh, so you can put the powder in by opening this. Okay, so there is place for you to pour water and to put the powder in. Then you close it and then you mix it so that the powder gets mixed in well. And then you have to place the tip of this into your nostril. So you place it in one nostril, open your mouth, breathe uh, from your mouth. And then you press the bottle uh, with as much as pressure as possible. So that the water comes from one side and then exits through the other side, other no nostril. Uh, it should not, uh, if you breathe, you know, relax from your mouth or if you feel like it's coming into your throat. You can even make the sound k k when you are doing that to avoid water going into your throat. And then when you are uh, removing it from your nostril, you have to keep that pressure and then remove it. Otherwise, sometimes the dirt gets sucked back into the uh, bottle. So if you are trying to clean it for you know post-surgery, there will be blood, mucus and all which can go back into this. Uh, and if it's done properly, all of that blockage that is there within your sinuses gets cleared. Okay, so now she will demonstrate the video of how to do it. So you have to put it in the nose, tilt your head slightly, open your mouth, breathe from your mouth and then press, press. Yes, so the water comes out from the other side and then as you remove, you keep it pressed and remove it. And then whatever water is there, you can just clean it off or uh, wipe it or you can lightly blow your nose after that. For the other side, you do the same uh, process in the other nostril as well. Thank you.